Good evening. As several areas of the state are in flash flood or severe thunderstorm warnings, Albuquerque streets turned into rivers as many cars saw water up to their tires. It also forced a band playing at Isleta Amphitheater to stop mid-set and people taking shelter under vendor booths and in bathrooms. Let's get to meteorologist Ryan DePhillips with the latest. Yeah, flooding thunderstorms impacting many and now a lot of those thunderstorms that impacted Albuquerque moving to the western half of Santa Fe. A severe thunderstorm warning in effect for the western half of Santa Fe and also one just to the north of Santa Rosa getting pretty close to the southern and western half of Tementina and again something you have to watch out for the heavy rain and plenty of lightning strikes Now the storm to the north of Albuquerque beginning to weaken in intensity, but we saw plenty of storm reports. Uh, a wind report, a flooding report, and another flooding report on the western half of the town as we had stranded people, vehicles on the roadways, a peak wind gust in Albuquerque at the Sunport at 72 miles per hour. Again, more reports of stranded vehicles, especially near the Sunport as radar estimated rainfall totals. These darker greens and yellows, especially in the northern half of the town, indicate one to almost two and a half to three inches of rain. So a lot of rain. We needed the rainfall, but a lot at the same time. That's why there's also a flash flood warning in effect till 1130 this evening. And we have another chance of storms. Now, by the way, a lot of the hail really not the major concern. The major concern is more of the thunderstorms from Socorro heading closer to the metro. I'll be tracking how those temperatures will be affected. Back to you. All right, thanks, Ryan. AFR says there are several calls for flood channel rescues, water emergencies, vehicle collisions, and electrical hazards. They're asking people to not drive vehicles into standing or flowing water and to stay clear of flood channels and drainages. Albuquerque police say many areas of downtown are also closed. They're asking people stuck in the storm to find a safe place to pull over and wait for the storm to pass.